hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a creative image gallery using html and css on this web page you can see i have added three different text and if i move cursor from one text to another the image is also changing if i take cursor over melon it will display the melon image if i take cursor over cherry it will display the cherry image and if i take cursor over candy it will display candy image on the web page and you can see some hover effect on this text also the text background color is transparent and if i move cursor over it the background color becomes black and you can see this text is slightly moving up so let's start to create this creative image gallery using html and css here in this folder i have added index.html file and style.css file and i have another folder called images and in this folder you can see some images that i will be using on the web page you can find all these images download link in the video description let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added basic html structures and this one is the css file here I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add code in the body tag. So here we will create a div with the class name hero. Next we have to add the CSS for this one. So just copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file. And here we will add some CSS properties. Width 100%, height 100vh then we will add the background then we will add some padding position will be relative and uh, display flex align items center and justify content space around after adding this Let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this plain color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Let me come back and here within this div we will add three text in h1 tag. Now you can see these text on the web page. Next we will add some CSS for these text. So let's come back and here we will add the same class name and h1 tag. Let's increase the font size. Then we will add the position relative and z index to then we have to remove the background color so here we will add webkit text fill color it will be transparent then we will add stroke so here we will add webkit text stroke it will be 2 pixel and black then we will add the cursor it will be pointer after adding this you can see we have only stroke for these text and the background is transparent next we have to add the hover effect on these text so let's come back and again write this one then write hover Here we will change the background so just copy and paste it here and here we will add the color black so it will become black and we will also move this text slightly up so here we will add transform translate y minus 10 pixels so it will move up y 10 pixel here we will add transition transform 0.5 seconds now you can see this text is moving up by 10 pixel and the background is also changing next we have to add one image on this web page so let's come back in this html file after this h1 here we will add one div with the class name 
img box. Let's copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file with a dot. So here we will add the position. It will be absolute top 0 and right 0 because it will be on the right side. We will add the height 100%. Then we will add width 65% and background. In the background we will add one image. So background image URL. Write the file path of the image. So write the folder name then file name. Let's add candy.png this one and after that we will add the background size it will be cover and background position will be center you can see this image on the right side next we have to add some effect that will change the background image whenever we will take cursor over different text so usually when i take cursor on any text we can change the css properties of the particular element or the child element but we have to change the css properties of the sibling elements you can see this div is outside of this h1 so it is the sibling element of this h1 so here we have to add hero h1 and over and after that we will add this sign dot the class name of this image box here we will change the background image so let's copy this one and paste it here and uh, in the first one here we will change the image it will be background.png so by default we have changed the image background.png and it will be candy.png whenever we will take cursor over h1 so let's see by default you can see the plain color in the background and if i take cursor you can see the candy image but this image is coming instantly so we have to add some transition so let's come back and here we will add transition background image one second now you can see this image will come with some transition but right now if i take cursor to another text you can see the same image so we have to add different image when we take cursor to the different text for that let's come back and here in this one we have to add colon and a child one and a child one and hover so it will be only for the first text let's duplicate this one and here we will add in a child two so it is for the second title and it is for the three title three and here we will change the image this will be cherry.png and this one melon.png so we have added different image for the different text let's see if i take cursor on candy it will display the candy image if i take cursor over cherry it will display the cherry image and if i take cursor over melon it is displaying melon in the background so finally we have created this creative image gallery using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video